Uh, hello, my name is Ed Dalling, I'm from Sustination. I'm going to tell you about the most important problem that mankind has ever faced. So I'm going to talk very quickly, I'm going to ask you questions. So when I say raise your arms, raise your arms, obviously if it's a yes or a no. Uh, we're a food trade network. We, uh, we help SMEs find each other, discover, connect and trade more effectively uh, with real-time access to market data. Um, my background, uh, I designed and built the emergency management system for London, did some risk analysis stuff in the insurance industry, take information, share it, make it easy to collaborate upon. Our mission is good food for everyone forever. This is kind of important because food is the critical function that cascades into every other single thing that we do. Everything else is secondary. I don't care whether you're talking about energy, money, politics, finance, whatever. Food is the most important thing. It can bring us together, it can drive us apart, it can make our environment cleaner, more polluted, healthier, sicker, so on and so on. So there are a few more important decisions than those that we make about how we grow and consume and sell and produce food. Furthermore, business as usual is not an option. It takes nine calories of fossil fuel for every one calorie of food that we produce. In the next 30 to 60 years, we're going to run out of peak phosphate, which is absolutely critical to the current farming industry. 50% of our arable land is going to be useless by 2050, and 25% of our greenhouse gas emissions come from farming uh, and nitrous oxide. Uh, so it's worth asking the question, how do we build a better food system? If you want these, you end up kind of needing those. If you've got a smaller, more plentiful, more diverse ecosystem of businesses, as in fact we do at the moment, how do you help them do the thing that they do better? 96% of the food industry employs less than 250 people. Most people are turning over less than a million, which means that there is a massive concentration of supermarkets. Uh -oh. So, uh, small farm, no time, lots of coriander. What do they do? Lots of phone calls, very boring. Send out a quick message on Sustination. Those guys make pesto out of coriander. Uh, they buy their coriander, sell it, local, local um, shops, £3,000 worth of local economic activity. Hands up if you'd like a job, better job. Hands up if you're employed. Okay, do that again, now turn around and look at each other. After this, there are beers over here. You can talk to each other, communicate, share that information, and hook up and trade, make your life easier. That's what we do. We make information visible. Ooh, by raising our head. Um, we make it easy to communicate with each other and then we encourage collaboration between you all. So that's all we've got to do just online. How do we do it? We cheat. We do it with copy LinkedIn. Um, so <laughs> you, you have a profile. You say who you are, what you do, where you do it. You say who you're connected to and then that becomes then a searchable directory. We then give you the ability to, oh, I've duplicated my slides, so I'm terribly sorry. We, anyway, then we then give you the ability to communicate with each other, and so you can send out these local messages and, uh, and say that you're, you've got 30 tons of potatoes at two pounds a kilo or something, that's an absurd price. Uh, and we have functionality for groups as well, much like LinkedIn, much like Facebook. So we're trying to build on this sort of idea that people already know and integrate the systems and, and principles that they already know so that it makes it very, very easy for people to adopt. Here's the clever bit. Because we're doing all these lines, we can start analyzing the network and we can say, okay, what's going to work here? Why does it work over here but not over here? What options are there for collaboration? Can these 17 people work together to deliver in here? What other data can we mash it up with? Can we say, I want to start a farm here, what, but what's the, or what should I be planting? now so that I'm ready for the climate in 20 years time because you know do I plant a big field of wheat? No, plant walnut trees, they're more resistant to climate change, create not much as, uh, just as much flour. Sounds kind of idealistic, Unilever have exactly the same approach. People recognize that this is a necessary issue. This isn't a how should we move thing, this isn't a hippies, this is a fundamental resource issue. We've got to change everything. So how do we make money? There are three bits that we do. We do the LinkedIn, the directory bit, the communication bit, and the network analysis bit. We charge for the second two. It's a low monthly fee, so it's very affordable, very accessible. Five to 15 pounds a month, depending on your turnover. This is where we're at at the moment. Um, all these dots are actually connected. Some of them are just connected up much more locally, so you can't see them at this, this Zoom level. Um, it is a public wiki. Anyone can edit this. If you want to go in now and put in information about what you know, do it. So, here's our fundamental message to you guys this evening. Sustainable often means radically different. Sometimes you've got to rewire everything. The solutions that we need are actually mainly social. It's our social models that are failing. Our technical models are all cool.
get involved, make it happen, <laughs> fix stuff, and we're hiring. So if anyone wants a job, we've got them. Uh, and we just want wire us. Um, we just want wire us, and we've got some swanky offices in London, much like these. Uh, cool, thank you very much.